Hey, we're in the Jaeger, hey, we're in the Jaeger, coming to save the day. Yo, what is up, YouTubers? Your boy Nahid, back to watch more Attack on Titan. What is up, fam? What is up? <laughs> what is up? I am excited. Sundays are a blessing for a lot of us, you know? So, uh, I'm here, guys. I'm here to do this. Yo, fam, last episode. What the fuck? Yo, hey, first of all, before we start the street, y'all, hey, just wanna put this out there, guys. I'm a simple man, all right? If you're looking for someone that's gonna, like, find all the intricacies and the lores and whatnot, it ain't me, cuz I'm here to just look all gasp and go, what the fuck? I mean, I'm the guy that said Africans were Eldians, remember that? So, yeah. But, yo, uh, regardless of all that, man, this, this shit is amazing. This, this shit is a masterpiece. Uh, you know, although when I'm first watching it, I'm sitting there kind of grasping, trying to figure out what the fuck is happening, I do go back and try to figure out what the fuck happened. And it just amazes me even more how intricate and crazy this fucking show is. So, uh, after watching that last reaction, I'm just like sitting here going, did Aaron, like, know this shit? Like, was he, like, you know, he did it, like, you know, is he, like, you know what I mean? Like, that's all I could think about, you know what I mean? So I went back, you know, I saw a couple of, uh, couple of uh, recap videos. The best understanding I got of what is happening is, is Grisha is seeing everything through Aaron's eyes. Like, Aaron is there, you know, the whole Attack Titan, he can see him in the future and see that's what he's been doing this whole entire fucking time, which is just crazy. And I went back, and when, when I, we, saw, we watched the episode, like, yeah, you literally see Aaron behind Grisha the whole entire time, speaking to him and whatnot, and they're just, like, communicating. Like, in that one scene, uh, well, when, uh, when they were with the Rice family, they were... I guess they were just fucking doing this weird communicate. Like he was seeing him through his eyes, through their eyes. It's like some nutty ass shit, man. It's it's incredible. That's the only thing I can say. It's just very incredible. It's a, it's a masterpiece of a story. And when you get down to like the teat of it, it's it's very spot on. Like you have to catch a lot of this stuff like very much on. So like I was watching this one recap video, and they basically said like there's been there were so many key moments where Grisha could have Grisha could have been stopped. Like, if Kenny would have stopped Grisha to look at that letter it would have been done with, you know what I mean? If Grisha actually went in there the day he discovered the Rice family instead of seven years later, he would have been fucked by the other Titan that was there. Like, a lot of it's, uh, it's crazy. It's crazy. The story's huge, and I love it. It's, it's amazing. Uh, I, I cannot wait to go back again and rewatch the dub because, again, I feel like as an, as, a, as an English-speaking viewer, you just catch on more inferences, more hidden innuendos and all that craziness because it's just the there's a tone when, when, when they speak in the dub man there's like an english tone to it man you understand you're just kind of like you, you sense the fear you know it's like yeah for me it's easier but enough of that little rant i would say i do have one thing i do i do want to look at real quick before we start this episode so a fan told me a, a fan he was like his name is uh shoeb muhammad i mean he was straight up like bro read this title and then read the very first one this one says, from you 2,000 years ago. And then the first episode, to you in 2,000 years. Like, did Aaron know this whole time? This is fucking nutty. This is a nutty-ass show. This is, I fucking love Aaron Yeager. He, he's, he's, he's the best. I love Aaron. He's, he's amazing, man, you know. He's Aaron. He, he, Aaron's got a plan, you know. All right, y'all, without further ado, let's get the show on the road. Thank you all for being here. And if you're if, ugh, if it's your first time here, you know, please subscribe, comment, like. Uh, I'll be getting these out as soon as I can. All right. I love you all. Thank you all for being here. Let's do this. Hey, no need to pee. No, I'm good. Yeah, this was like a week. Of, if, if it would have been the other, I forget the other uh, Titan's name, it would have not have been good. There we go. He did not want to do this. Oh, that's so fucked up. They showed the whole thing. <laughs> Dude, they're fucking geniuses for this shit, man. Like, who thinks of this? <laughs> Good luck. That ain't happening, bro. Dude, Zeke is just... Okay, yeah, that is true. 
He's losing his shit. It's like, how? I just show it to him. See, you brought him into me. <laughs> Motherfucker. Whoa. Whoa. That's where he kissed her story, right? Oh, that is nuts. All right, I got to piss. All right, I've been holding it in. I'm, I'm, I'm pause it right here. What the fuck? If I lose it all, I'm afraid I'm afraid I'm afraid I'm afraid I'm Whew! From you to you, that's crazy, man. That's me. This is from the very first episode, right? Like, that's when he kissed her, right? What's going on? Is this like a like a historical flashback? That's terrible. Facts. Wow. Uh, you kind of dig for hand eye coordination, man. You know, it's like the death and shit like that, bro. Like. What? She's just a little girl. Scapegoated. That shit. It sucks. Somebody's gotta look for somebody to blame. Someone's gotta be the bad guy, you feel me? You. What do you mean you're free? So fucked up, man. She's just a little girl. Again, the world is a brutal place, man. Like back in human human beings, I wouldn't even say we're human. You know, they were just they were savages. We still are savages, just Savages in different ways, you know. We aren't a physical savage species anymore. We're more of a mental. You know, that's why everybody's so depressed, right? I'm, you know, thinking out loud. Or maybe I'm the only only one that's depressed. <laughs> is this like the origin of the Titans? If that is the case, this is amazing. So far. I just love how there's really no name, no nothing, and everybody's blank faces, and we're just seeing this. Like, I don't even I don't know if that's really Ymir, or it's just a girl so far, you know? It's like a tentacle or like a fucking something, man. The head of it looks like the head of a sperm, I'll be real with you guys. <laughs> it looked like the head of a sperm. So that she hit with that, and now, okay, now she's the. First Titan? Alright, that's that's it. Yay hey, man, I'm with it. So Emir was that's Emir that is Emir. Give you my seed, does that mean you're gonna impregnate her? Gotcha. Is that her? that's the first baby? And then she was just made to like give, make more babies? The King, that's King, man. This is insane. This shit's like eight, this goes back. The subjects of Emir. That's how Emir died. Protecting the king. Again, I like how they're just, you can't, their eyes are all blocked out. She was a slave. I'm trying to like. Wow. That's how the walls are. Bro, they fucking wronged her. Yeah, this guy was fucked up, bro. 
princess, why are you here? Go away, please. I'm just baffled at the brutality of it all. It was just brutal, everything. She was made into a slave, made to bear children, made to fight a war, and then she sacrificed herself for this king who was just terrible, I'm sorry. Fritz was evil. Whoa! What's the big idea? This is nuts. It's been about her. She was a slave. What the fuck? It was for her. Guys, this is a great story. The pain she went through, man. She didn't deserve any of it. Man, I'm feeling for her. My God. The sacrifice she made. My God. What the fuck is th You guys. Oh my God. He's breaking the walls down. Here we go. Here goes the real rumbling. Aaron did it. Aaron did it. Aaron did it. Oh my God. Fritz is terrible. Is that Aaron? Whoa. Oh my God. You can't even hear. Everybody just sitting there in awe of what Aaron just did. And they just cannot believe it. Aaron is, ah! Uh, yes! Uh-oh. What is going on? Oh my god. This is incredible. パラディトの人々を守ることになる。この島のみならず、全ての意味のためにはこの差別。この島の外にある全ての地表を踏みならず、この世から駆逐するまで。My left eye is my right eye is like twitching. It's like twitching straight up, like it's like trying to like get it not to twitch. It's like bear witness to what I just saw right there. I mean, I'm trying to I'm trying trying to figure out the words to say that are to come out what to come out of my mouth. I mean. You know, fam, you know, you, you know, people trying to kill your peoples. Shit, you know, you gotta do what you gotta do, you know. But everybody? Everybody, Aaron? My name is Ed and Yeager. Everybody, Aaron? You gotta kill everybody? I don't know. Every that was the words he used, right? He's gotta take out everybody from every one of the shores, right? Yeah, that, that was the last words he used, right? He was like, I, and no, we're not safe until. That means everybody, like all the other neighboring motherfuckers. Like, Jesus. Poor Emir. Thaw is the name of the next episode, Thaw. Like, you thaw something out. Like, what the fuck? What an episode. I just, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to, uh, Muster up the right words. I just. <sighs> I'm going to say it. I'm going to say it. I'm going to say it. I don't agree with the killing of the rest of the world. <laughs> you know, he, he, he had me with Marley. 
He had me with Marley. He's like, yep, let's go after Marley. Let's go after these assholes. The rest of the world? I don't know, man. It's just a little... I don't know about that one, man. It's a little bit too much, guys. The rest of the world? Jeez. Oh, I'm just now noticing the picture on... Uh, fun I'm watching this one on Funimation because the subtitles are better. It's bigger. I can fucking get it a lot better. But his hair on the side or whatever, on the whatever the right side of his face, you can see everybody's pictures and shit and memories and whatnot. Man, that shit is amazing. Um, I guess, you know, okay... My thoughts, biggest one uh, is more than anything is like, yo, Emir, that that shit with Emir is fucking crazy, man. I'm just like, wow, like what? She was a slave, man, the whole entire fucking time. Like she was a straight up just a slave, just used for nothing. Even she gave her life at the end, man. It, that shit was unbelievable to me, guys. Uh, man, it's just, this is nuts. This is so so nuts. I'm actually all right. Let's start from the beginning of the episode. The beginning of the episode, obviously, we see uh, Grisha. It's, it's, it, go, it pans back to Grisha and the aftermath of him. And they actually sh they showed in full detail of him uh, mastering the Rice family. Uh, it's kind of telling, man. He just... He didn't want to do it, obviously, but he had to. It was one of those things that it was, it was, he, he had to do it. Uh, you know, if you remember correctly, he used to... Be a doctor for kids, man. Now he wants to fucking massacre him. It's uh, the toll that was played. And I guess Grisha saw, man. He he saw, bro. He saw Aaron. He saw what he was going to do 4,000 years ago, bro. And it's so crazy to think that Aaron, from I guess from that first episode, you know, when he became or whatever and he kissed Historia, that from, from then on, he's known about what's going to happen. He just knew, you know. Even this moment at 420, you're sitting him like, Zeke is still sitting there. He's like, no, do you don't have any royal blood? You have, you can't do anything. He like he, he goes out and he basically tells Emir to go. Yo, you start the euthanization process. And Aaron just, bro, he fucking broke his hands out. Did y'all see that shit? Like, just like just ripped it. Was like fuck this and just ran, just ran. Like this is, in, this is insane. And just I don't know what, the words to use but that. Then, you know, we go to the Historia flashback where Historia is basically being told about, like, giving the story of Emir, and that's when we have our flashback. You know, this flashback on Emir, I thought was very well done. It, you know, they blacked out all the eyes. They made it look like it was in the past. I, it's just, it's such a, the artistic style of how they went about it was fucking nuts. Uh, and they did a really good job of showing the pain and tragedy that she went through because man, fam, like, you said, right, the world's a cold and terrible place. You know, what I said earlier, you know, like back in the day, we used to physically harm each other. And I feel like, you know, that whole physical warfare has gone to a mental warfare now. We're just like mentally just fucking each other over as human beings. You know, I guess, you know, I don't know, man, maybe I'm wrong, but you know, there's a lot more depressed people I feel like now. Back in the day, it wasn't really depression, it was more of like, you either eat or you die, right? Now it's like we're alive and we're just dealing with the pain <laughs> mentally. But uh, continuing, the king, all of it. So I don't. Okay, I don't. So at this point, where they basically they, they sacrificed her. They sacrificed Emir again. This is I'm looking at number ten right here, where they all the villagers point at Emir and blame her for that pig being let out. And it's bas she's basically been sacrificed. Like just like yo, it's her fault. I don't know what they were doing when they were making her run. Was the king's intention to make her go into that tree? Was that the intention? Was that supposed to happen? I mean, I don't know. But it just seemed like she was running for her dear life. She found this fucking tree. She went in there. And this, like, sperm-looking tentacle-like thing just grabbed onto her. And wha-bam! Wha-bam! Lightning flash. It's all this crazy shit. And then we have a fucking titan. And from then on, it's like she just becomes a slave. That's how innocent Ymir, Ymir was, man. Because that would have been me, man. I would have been... Killing motherfuckers, you know? And just the way the king went about it was just so barbaric. Like, oh, I am entrusting you with my seed. That means I'm just going to fucking give you my semen. You're going to have my kids. And there we go. And there goes the whole Titan history. I think that is literally, that, that's how it all went down. It's just fucking terrible, all of it. She sacrificed herself for the, uh, for the, uh, for the fucking king. They ate 
all of her pieces like they did in the story. Like, they should have said this in the story. They ate her. They ate the fuck out of her. They all grew from Emir's back, you know? And then that's how the rest of the Titans were created. And I'm... But this scene right here, man, where Aaron fucking grabs a hold of her, that shit is fucking crazy. I'm trying to figure this out. I'm interpreting this from what I'm seeing. From what I'm seeing here is that, fam, Emir uh, has been a slave her whole entire life. And she has been under the, the hold of Fritz, you know, in a mental, and you know, whatever standpoint. This is, I guess, Aaron telling or yelling at her, like, you don't have to do this. I don't think Emir has ever had that. Had someone go, yo, this is not, how, you don't have to be like this. You don't have to do any of that. And I guess that's what sparked this whole situation. You know, it's just, it's intense from 1710 after, man, it just becomes a whole different story. And then the same tentacle thing comes out, fucking gets Aaron together, man, and it's just, there we go. The they're released. It's it's you know this 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 is called the rumbling. The other shit wasn't the rumbling. This is the rumbling, right? Where the walls fucking come down. This is the rumbling. Okay, cool. Uh, yeah, man. They all go down. And uh, fam, I'll be real with you. And I'm an Aaron Aaron Yeager sib. I'm sitting here. I'm I'm sitting here the same as fucking Armin going. Yay! Aaron has come to save us. Yeah, Aaron. Oh yeah. And then, you know, he starts noticing, hey, man, why are all the walls down, bro? He could have just done a couple of them. And then, oh, yeah. And then they start putting two and two together and realizing what is happening. This is a world genocide that Aaron is doing. Aaron is, is creating the apocalypse as we speak. It is 220, man. There's this drawing of just Aaron just speaking to everybody. God, at the end, is just... It's fucking scary. <laughs> All right, y'all, I think that is it, man. I guess my goal right now is to get this out to you guys as soon as fucking possible. Because, like, damn. Yeah, damn, 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 damn. All right, y'all, I appreciate you. I love you all. I will see you guys next week for more of this. Take care of yourselves and uh, do great things. Until then, peace. Yo, what is up, fam? Thanks for watching this episode of Attack on Titan with me. I'll be back next week with more. I'll see you guys then. Please, if you would, leave a comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll see y'all later. Peace!